How are you guys doing? Welcome to another vlog. <laughs> I, um, I've been struggling these past few days. I have been suffering from vertigo, which is not my first time. And um, yeah, it's been really, it's been really rough. I haven't gotten my full blown vertigo where, you know, the room is just spinning like what feels like permanently. Um, but I'm getting it in the mornings and in the evenings pretty much when, you know, I start to like lay down, get into bed or when I'm getting up in the morning. Um, when I move like my head side to side too suddenly, I will get it. The room will start to spin. Um, but like I said, thankfully it hasn't like it, the room will start to spin and then it'll slow down and then it'll just stop. But I kind of feel like I'm permanently underwater, like my brain is just <laughs> doing this. Um, so it's been, it's been hard to film. Um, it's been hard to work, basically. And, um, you know, it's just been, it's been a challenge. But anyway, I, you know, my allergies have really been acting up. And I've talked about this in the past, but, you know, when I eat um, carnivore, and if you're new to my channel, I've done carnivore. Um, or I did carnivore last August through like the holidays and then I kind of fell off the wagon. And when I was doing it, I felt, you know, great. I had no allergies. My husband was suffering from them and I was like, no, I feel fine. And then, you know, I fell off the wagon and I want to say after about two months of basically eating whatever I wanted, my allergies started to come back and here they are, I, you know, my allergies, basically they like inflame my sinuses and I think it just knocks everything off balance here. So I'm trying to get back on carnivore. It's been a struggle, um, but this really is great motivation. The last thing you want to feel is like the world is just crooked and spinning <laughs> all the time. It's like torture. So, um, so yeah, so today will be my second full day back on carnivore i don't expect anything to happen uh quickly so i've been doing some other things to try and alleviate the symptoms but um yeah it's just been it's just been kind of rough especially you know especially at night when i'm just trying to like sleep and you know i'll turn to my side and then the room will start to spin and i just have to kind of like it feels like you're holding on for dear life and then it slows down and then, you know, in the middle of the night, if I switch and when the spinning starts, it'll wake me up. So I've had really interrupted sleep over the past few days. So anyway, that's what's been going on with me. Oh, the things I've been trying to do to like alleviate it. I've been using like a saline spray just to kind of like clean out my passages. I started using Flonase again, which was something I didn't need to use when I was eating a little bit more cleanly. Um, but I'm using Flonase again, just to kind of I'm hoping to bring down the inflammation in my sinuses because I can feel it too. I can feel, they just feel like clogged. Sorry, that's really gross. But um, yeah, they just feel clogged and it's not necessarily um, like stuffiness. It's just like the tissue. I feel like it's like closing in. Um, so Flonase and I do have, it's like vertigo medication that I was prescribed a while ago by a doctor and I'm only supposed to take it if I get full-blown vertigo. And I wanna say maybe four or five nights ago, it really, it was like, I was okay if I was perfectly still, but it was like, even if I moved my eyes in a direction, like it would kind of start. So I thought, let me just take one of those pills. And it really did help, but it makes you very, at least it makes me very, very sleepy. So that night I probably slept 12, 13 hours, and then I had to nap that next day after I woke up. So yeah, it's not something I wanna take um, often. And like my doctor said, I really should only take it once I get like full blown vertigo. So anyway, that's like a last resort, um, but that's where I'm at. But I'm hoping to be a little bit more productive today. Yesterday, I just really couldn't do anything. My head was hurting from it, and yeah, I was just tired um, because what I <laughs> what I didn't realize, and I realized last night, was I kind of clench, I clench my teeth and I clench my jaw, just hoping 
that like nothing starts to spin, which is ridiculous. That's not gonna help. But it's this, this sort of like reaction that I have. So I'll be walking around or doing normal things and I'm just kind of clenching around, just sort of like moving slowly and just hoping everything stays still. Um, so I'm just like, yeah, I just feel like a lot of tension and everything. So yesterday I kind of took the day off from filming um, uh, because the lighting also when I film, I feel like that really, it, it sets things off also. And I was filming before then and really just kind of suffering from it. And so yesterday I was like, you know what, let me just not today. Um, so I took yesterday off, but uh, today I wanna, you know, I just wanna be productive. I really hate sitting around feeling awful. <laughs> it's terrible, it's a terrible feeling. So um, I did get some things to spruce up the guest room. So that's what I'm hoping to do with you guys today. Um, I think, I think it'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. Um, that's, that's not going to require a lot of <laughs> swinging my head around. So that's what I'm planning on doing. But right now I've got to walk Miss Butters. She, uh, she has been fed and now she needs to, <laughs> she actually just wants to play, but she needs to be walked. No Butters, we're not going to go play. We're going to go for a walk. Okay, baby? <laughs> We're gonna walk. So we're out walking butters, and this is at the end of our driveway. I guess our neighbors are moving in. Look at this dog. <laughs> in the moving truck. He looks like he's been driving the rig. Oh my God, so cute. He seems very interested in butters too. Someone has made themselves very comfortable on the bath mat in front of my sink. Miss Butters, I'm so sorry. I have to stand where you're comfortable. You don't care. You're not gonna move, are you? You know, now that I'm standing here in the bathroom, I'm realizing I need to give you guys a closet update because I was expecting to unveil my dream closet uh, like last weekend. However, there was a little bit of a delay in some of the materials, I will share all of the information in that particular vlog. Um, and I was thinking, well, should I just put up what I have? Uh, because there's like some doors and drawers missing. Um, but I thought, no, I'm gonna just be patient, vlog the whole thing. Um, so it's not gonna be done for another couple of weeks. So look out for a closet unveiling, probably in like mid-July, hopefully. Um, there were some issues with the supply chain. <laughs> Of course, what's new? Um, and a little bit of like miscommunication, whatever. I'll explain it all. It's totally fine. It's just not, it's like 90% done in there. We're just waiting on some crucial pieces to be able to like move everything in there and like organize all of our stuff. But I just wanted to mention that because I know in a previous vlog, I talked about how they were coming and blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to update you on that. So mid-July, mid-July, keep an eye out for that. Um, but I am gonna, Get ready for the day. I feel so much better after a shower. I really turned up the heat on the water, which I don't usually do. I usually kind of take like a lukewarm shower, which is generally better for my uh, skin, but I took like a hot shower because I needed that steam. It really, it really, really helped. Um, I'm actually thinking about getting like a facial steamer um, to like use at night just to kind of like open up my sinuses. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like feeling a little bit more clear, thank goodness. So I've been using my droplet pretty religiously over the past, uh, I wanna say couple of weeks. I've been testing out droplet's latest formula, which is the Tranexamic Eraser. And what this particular formulation is supposed to do is help with uh, sunspots, it's supposed to help with like hyperpigmentation, redness in your skin, and it is supposed to restore your skin's barrier. Even if you have like sensitive skin, it's really supposed to help like strengthen your barrier. Um, and these are all issues that I have. I have, you know, sunspots, I have hyperpigmentation, I have a lot of redness in my cheeks. You guys have probably seen that, you know, when I do get readies with me or whatever and I start with a bare face. I do have a lot of redness um, and I do have a really busted up <laughs> skin barrier because I've suffered from eczema most of my life. It has gotten better, I've talked about that in the past. Uh, but I am working with Droplet on this portion of the video, and I just wanted to show you, in case you guys are unfamiliar with their device, um, this is the little capsule. This is the device, which is rechargeable. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip up this lid, and then you stick the capsule 
right in here. So this is the fourth formulation in their line and the newest one, sorry, it just snaps right back in and then you put the lid down. Um, so this formulation is the newest to their line and the first one that they've released since they launched this product. So what this device does is it takes the serum that is inside the capsule and it aerosolizes it so that it penetrates your skin. It's not something um, that's gonna just sit on top of your skin. It's gonna get in there, which is sort of the genius behind Droplet. It really turns it into this ultra, ultra fine mist so that it can penetrate uh, just the barrier of your skin. So the power button is here, and once I click it, it's gonna start to create this mist, and I just, in circular motions, um, work it over here. It'll run for 15 seconds, it'll pause, it'll start again for 15 seconds, I'll move it over to this side, it'll pause, and then for another 15 seconds, I like to run it over my forehead. And so it's a very quick 45 second cycle, and that's one of the things I love about Droplet. It's not this huge commitment, um, I don't have to let it sit on my skin like overnight or do anything. It's very fast, it's very, very effective. And what I will say, I'm gonna pop a picture up here and I try, you know, it's really hard to do like before and after pictures because all of the lighting conditions and everything have to be the same. So I did this in my filming area where I feel like the lighting and the situation is pretty much static. So on top is before I started using this tranexamic eraser and then below is, I wanna say about a week and a half into it. And I really wasn't expecting much, it's, it was only a week and a half. But what I did notice was my skin was a lot less red. And I, you know, really hoping to lighten up these sunspots. These are really big stubborn ones. But I was really, really impressed to see like how much less red my skin was. And between the time that I did like the before and after, my before, like my allergies weren't really bothering me yet they were starting to and then when i took this about a week and a half later my allergies were like full blown i talked about that at the beginning of this video and usually when my allergies are full blown i have a lot of irritated it looks like my sinuses are irritated from the surface a lot of redness it looks puffy and i feel like my skin is a lot less red and blotchy since using this. So that's the first thing I have noticed uh, using this. And I am hoping that these will fade uh, a little bit more, but we'll see. I'm gonna continue using it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the power button. And I like to lean my head back a little bit. I feel like the mist runs off that way and I don't end up like inhaling it. Not that that's dangerous, but it's just kind of annoying sometimes. So there's the pause. and then the last 15 seconds. And that's it, and I just flip up the lid. I take out the capsule, which can be stubborn sometimes, but it pops right out. And that's it, and I do that morning and night. I've been doing that, like I said, pretty religiously. Sometimes I'll skip the evenings just because I'm so tired and I forget. Um, but pretty much every single morning for, now it's been about two weeks. And it does leave a little bit of tack on your skin for sure. So I just continue on with my uh, skincare after this. So I usually, I wash my face in the shower, I come out, I apply a little bit of toner, and then I go right in with the droplet. And then, like I said, I just continue on with my skincare. And I'm really impressed with how less red and blotchy my skin appears. Very nice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just get ready. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy because we're just gonna be putting together furniture for the guest room. I'm, I'm so excited to do this. Um, but I'll get into it a little bit more. Let me just get ready. Okay, so let me show you what I have. <laughs> it's all still in boxes, so this is gonna be kind of useless, but I got two uh, side tables for the bed in our guest room. Um, I got two lamps. I got a luggage rack, since it's our guest room, I figured they would need a luggage rack. And then I did get some coasters to put onto the side tables if they wanna put their water bottle there, you know coffee, all that kind of stuff. So what prompted this uh, guest room glow up, and sorry, it's so echoey. Uh, what prompted this guest room glow up is uh, one of my like best, best, bestest <laughs> friends from New York. She's coming to visit in August uh, for a little bit more than a week. And so, you know, that room is fine. There's a queen size bed in there and then we have a TV like mounted to the wall, but that's it. Like there's nothing to put your stuff on. There's no tables. 
um, we were planning on moving um, our primary bedroom's furniture, like the two side tables and the dresser in there. Um, but I just, I don't know, I just haven't um, gotten around to thinking about you know, furniture and decor for the primary bedroom. So we're still using all of that stuff. So I thought, in the meantime, why don't I just get uh, some things that are affordably priced off of Amazon, just get some stuff in there just to make it a little bit more homey. Um, I also had a friend here last week. It was just for one night and I actually didn't get all the pieces in in time uh, for his stay. But um, yeah, so I really wanted to do this for, for my friend who's staying here for quite some time. Um, so that was what kind of prompted <laughs> prompted this. We don't really use that bedroom at all. It's it's just a spare bedroom. My husband goes in there every once in a while to like meditate. I'll go in there every once in a while to meditate um, because it's really dark, it's quiet, all those things. Um, but that's it. So I just wanted to make it look a little bit more homey, a little bit more welcoming uh, for our guests and yeah, just give it a little bit of a glow up. So I'm kind of playing around with style, I guess, decor style, because there's so many different styles that I really, really enjoy, and I'm having a hard time committing for the entire house, like committing to an actual style. All the furniture I've gotten, I feel like, is a nice backdrop to whatever it is I want to do going forward. Um, and one particular style, which is what we're going to be playing with in the guest room, is chinoiserie. So just the beautiful, like, like that hand-painted feel of branches, blooming flowers, uh, maybe some wildlife like birds and stuff. Um, I do really, I really love when I see chinoiserie, but I also feel like you can get, kind of go overboard with it. It can look really, really busy. And yeah, so we're gonna be playing around with that a little bit in this bedroom. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and unpack all this stuff. And um, I think there's a little bit of assembly for these side tables, there's a little bit for the luggage rack, um, but I think that's it. Hopefully it's not gonna be too painful. <laughs> tables are done. I'm going to wait to put the glass top onto it once I bring them upstairs. I don't want to carry them up with the glass tops. For obvious reasons, I'm very clumsy. So next, I want to put together this luggage rack. Well, I am just pleased as punch because there actually is no assembly required. That is so awesome. So it does have this lower, uh, like lower rack. You see the luggage would go here. The second one could go here. So when you want to close it, there's this little rubber, black rubber stopper there that actually fits into that little hole there. So when you're ready to close it up, tuck that in there and then close it up so it stays there, it doesn't keep falling down. That's a really nice design. And even better that I don't have to assemble it Okay, so this is the current state of our guest room. Like I said, we just have a bed in here and, and a TV on the wall across from the bed. That is it. We did, um, I showed you guys when we got these blinds up. So that's all good. Uh, but let me go ahead and bring up the 
side tables, the lamps that I got, which I haven't shown you yet. I got some throw pillows and the luggage rack. at least for now, is complete. So here are the side tables that I put together. They have a nice, pretty glass top. And then it's kind of like a woven rattan at the bottom. I thought that was a nice kind of soft look. And then here are some lamps. I got a set of two. And everything I got is off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested. And then I got these coasters that I thought were so pretty. And then I also got these pillow inserts and pillow covers, which again, I thought would be a nice match. And there is a luggage rack. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I'm thinking maybe I'll just put it in the corner here, actually um, like fold it out like this. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll leave it there. There's plenty of room. This is where we eventually want to move the dresser to underneath um, the TV here. So that is it. And strangely enough, I decided to pick one of the most humid days I've ever experienced here in Vegas. So I'm like sweating like a pig, even though the assembly of the side tables, there was no assembly for the luggage rack. The lamps were kind of annoying only because there was so much styrofoam. You, you guys saw me like using my sticky tape roller to get rid of the styrofoam. That was kind of a pain in the butt, but everything was okay. But I'm like, wow. <laughs> sweating up a storm from that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A big thank you to Droplet for sponsoring that portion of the video. I will leave um, information down below on the device uh, where you can get it. I also have a discount code. All of those things uh, will be down below in the description box. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video.